Hello everyone, it's Mr. Sanchez here coming at you with another lesson for geometry. I know this video is coming out kind of late in the week. Sorry about that. Hopefully we'll get back to schedule next week. Um, we're going to go ahead and do geometry lesson 8-2, writing equations. Our learning target today is to write the equation of a line that is parallel to a given line and to write the equation of a line that is perpendicular to a given line, okay? Before we were able to do that, we do need to review some things. So go ahead, take a moment and review this uh, formula. This is called slope intercept form. This is the equation This is the equation of a line when it is written in slope intercept form. That's gonna be y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope of the line and b represents the y intercept, okay? You're probably wondering, why do we need to know this? Well, the reason why we need to know this is will come later on but oops i forgot my plus sign here right so we have it says here find the slope of the line we have here the equation 2x plus 3. so the part that's always going to be the slope of the line is going to be the coefficient in front of x so this number in front of x is going to be our slope so the slope here is 2. okay so remember that that's the slope if it was negative, you'd write negative. Even if it's a fraction, you know, you write the fraction. If you put something to get x over 2, then it would be 1 half. But we'll, we'll see more problems later on, and, you know, I'll be able to help you out there. All right, the next formula you guys need to remember from algebra 1 is point slope form. And that's when you get the equation written in this form. It's going to be y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 where y1 and x1 are the coordinates of a point given to you, and m is the slope of the line, right? So if they, in this next problem we have here, it says, write the equation of a line whose slope is three, and then we, we use slope right. So slope is three, and the co and, and passes through a point four and two. So this is x1 and this is y1. So we're just gonna go and follow this equation, right? So it's gonna be y minus, and then what's y1? Our y1 is two, so you're gonna put two here. It's gonna, that's gonna equal to, and my pencil's not writing for some reason. That's gonna equal to three, which is our slope, or m, right? Times quantity x, that's part of the equation, minus, also part of the equation, and then our x1, which in this case is gonna be four. And, this, that's how we write our line. Now, if it's, if it's a question says, write it in point slope form, then you're done. If, if they ever ask us to do get it in slope intercept form, then you're gonna have to distribute and solve for everything. So let's go ahead and write this in point slope form, in slope intercept form, right? So to write this in slope intercept form, we're gonna do some, ex, we're gonna have to do some extra steps, right? So our goal is to get the X by itself. To get the X by itself, you're going to first have to distribute this, I mean, the y by itself, you're going to have to first distribute this 3. So you're going to get 3 times x, and then plus 3 times negative 4, right? And then the right side stays the same, left side, because we didn't do anything to it, right? So we're going to get y minus 2 is equal to 3x minus 12. And now the last thing we're going to do is just get rid of this plus minus 2 by doing plus 2, plus 2, and we're going to get y is equal to 3x minus 10, all right? So the thing is, both of these equations are the same line, all right? This is in slope, this is in slope intercept. And it has a line for some reason, intercept. And this is in point slope form. Okay, even when it's acceptable, it just depends on whether, what kind of, if they just say write the line, you know, this is going to be fine. If they say write the line in slope intercept or in point slope four, I mean slope intercept, you have to write it like this, okay? They're the same thing, all right? Now, when the reason we need to know how to do this is we're going to need this type, we're going to need to use these equations to be able to create new lines that are parallel or perpendicular to other lines. So let's go jump ahead. Let's just jump ahead here to our scenario, all right? So they're building a skate park, right? And the skate park will have an angled grind rail. A drafter is drawing the grind rail on a coordinate plane, right? All right, makes the drafter has already drawn line N. 
Next is reference to draw line P, so that is parallel line N. So think about line N, think about this as the floor, right? And they're gonna want a, par a, a parallel line that's gonna represent the rail, right? So, you know, when you're skating, you know, the rail is parallel to the ground, it's gonna go in the same direction, right? So in, in this problem, it says, they have, we have line N. Next it says draw a line, draw a line P that is parallel to line N, parallel to line N and passes through these two points, all right? So in order to f draw, write a line that is, create, first we just need to create a, a line, line, right? Let's draw, create a line, all right? So I need space, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase all of this right here. But well, you should have enough space on your paper to write down the scenario. And I want you to write down the scenario, all right, guys? All right, so we have this here. First, to create a parallel line, you know, first, find the slope. Find the slope of the line. Like right, this for parallel. All right, so let's find that slope, right? And we can just pick any two points here. Um, and so we're gonna pick this point here, two comma zero, no, zero comma two, my bad. And then we're gonna pick this point, eight comma three, and we're gonna use the slope, the slope formula, right? So M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, right? And we're gonna call this x1 y1 and we're going to call this one x2 y2 right so if we plug this into our formula we're going to have y2 which is 3 minus y1 which is 2 all of that over x2 right which is going to be 8 minus x1 which is 0 right if we do this here we're going to get 3 minus 2 is 1 and then eight minus zero is eight. So our slope is gonna be N. And then our second step here is gonna be, second step, our second step is gonna be, write the graph, write the equation of a line. Using point slope form, okay? All right, so our, our point that they've given us is gonna be this one right here, negative two comma three. So X1 is equal to negative two, and Y1 is gonna be equal to three, right? And then our slope M is gonna be one over eight. And that's really all we need. So remember, we're gonna write Y minus, and then Y1, which is gonna be three, that's going to be equal to M, which is her slope, one over eight times parentheses X minus X one, which is three, two, negative two, right? And that's it. That's the equation of our line. Now, the problem says we have to graph it, okay? So if we wanna graph it, we're gonna actually have to put this line into slope intercept form, right? So we're gonna keep this, we're gonna do y minus three, and then we're gonna distribute, so we're gonna get one over eight x, and then remember, this becomes plus. So we're gonna have plus, and then two over eight is gonna be one over four. And then you're gonna do plus three to both sides, and then you're gonna get y is equal to one over eight x plus three, that's 12, that's gonna be 13 over four. All right, and if you have any problems getting these numbers, you know, go ahead, do the foiling and do the distributing, but you can just trust me here, okay? So we're gonna go, we're gonna find 13 over four. That's approximately uh, three and one third and one fourth, okay? It's gonna be three and one fourth. So it should be somewhere around here. That's where our point's gonna be. And it's gonna be one and one eighth. So our line's gonna go over eight and then go over one eighth. So it should be somewhere here. So our line's not gonna go up by much. But we do it again, it should go get us to the four. So it should be somewhere over here. So um, our line's not gonna be perfect, but we know that our line got a has to cross between these two points. 
And for some reason, the app is not gonna let me create a straight line. So, you know, if we're gonna draw, we're just gonna draw a line roughly parallel, okay? We know it passes through here. And no matter what I do, it's not letting me draw a straight line on the app. So I should look something like this, okay? So, and that's basically it, right? This is our equation. And that's all you need to do to create a parallel line. We can really stop here, okay? We just wanted to create the line, all right? So now we're gonna do this again, only for problem seven, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, erase this, but make sure you take the time, pause the video, and record and copy whatever you need to copy, okay? All right, so now we're gonna talk about perpendicular lines. Because now it says that the person drawing this part needs to draw a line Q that is perpendicular to the point negative nine comma seven. Right. Right. Okay. So what we're gonna do right here is first find the slope. First find slope of line. Right. And so the first slope we found. Remember the first slope. The slope of line n. Slope is one over eight. Second, we want to do the opposite reciprocal of that slope. All right. And remember, opposite reciprocal means we're going to change the sign. So because this is positive, we're going to write negative. And since it's one over eight, we're going to do eight, right? Because one over eight is one over eight, when you do the reciprocal, it's gonna be eight over one, which is the same thing as eight. So that's why we're just gonna write eight, okay? Now, the third step, right? We just need to do um, point slope form. <laughs> okay, and we wanna be in our point X1 is negative nine and our Y1 is seven, right? And so in our slope, it's gonna be negative eight. So when we write this equation, right? So what we're gonna do is just gonna follow the formula and it's gonna be y minus y1, which is gonna be seven, right? So we're gonna put that in blue. That's going to equal to negative eight, times x minus and then x1 which is going to be negative nine right and we're just going to close this all right and so when we rewrite this problem we want to rewrite y minus seven is going to be equal to negative eight x plus nine and that's it that's our formula i'm not going to bother graphing it because it's really hard to graph it on this on this paper but if you go to negative nine comma seven, right? Our point, so this is negative nine and he wants us to go to seven, right? So our line should go somewhere like this. Um, this should go from here all the way to negative one right here. So our line should come somewhere like this, okay? And you can see it makes a perpendicular line. Right. But don't worry so much about the graphing, okay? All right, so that's how you do a perpendicular line. So now we're gonna try this doing these types of problems, okay? And it's, the, and it's the same thing, okay? It's gonna be the same thing. And we're gonna have more practice in class because we're actually gonna need to practice in class, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and erase everything, all right? And we're gonna go ahead and do number 11, okay? So, what is the slope of the line parallel to the to with, to the line with the equation y equals negative four over five, right? So remember, remember, parallel lines have the same slope. And I know this video is going kind of long, guys, but they have the same slope. So all we gotta do is look for the slope. The slope here. It's gonna be four over five because it's in slope intercept form, right? So 
the slope of a parallel line is going to be four over five. And that's it, guys, right? That's it, all right? And now we have to find the slope of a line that is perpendicular to this equation, right? Perpendicular equal. Perpendicular lines, right? So perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is so this is equals to negative two x, right? And then let me write that with the black just so it's more clear, right? So our slope here is equal to negative two, right? And let's put it over one just to show that. So the opposite reciprocal, the OR is going to be, since this is negative, it's gonna become positive. And since it's two over one, we're gonna write one over two. So our slope is what positive one half, right? And that's what we're gonna write. The slope of a line that is perpendicular is going to be one half. And that's it. We're done, okay? So, you know, make sure to watch this video. If you guys have watched this video, thank you. All right, guys, just make sure, you know, you practice it. We're gonna have more time to practice in class so that we have an opportunity, you know, just to know how to do this, all right, guys? It's a little bit hard, and so we're gonna have lots of time to practice, all right, guys? I'll see you guys in class. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to message me on Schoology, comment on YouTube, whatever you want, guys. Bye-bye. So,